Okay, kind of out here doing some tip-ups. I'm with Bob Nutter. Hey, Bob. Um, we were talking a while ago about your last order of those dress trebles. Are you ordering bigger hooks than than what is actually on the the bait when you get it out of the box? Because they seem like they're bigger than standard. Absolutely, they're at least a size or two bigger hook. So you, you think you need those for hooking, or what does it do to the bait? Uh, it actually drops the bait down a little further in the water column and uh, keeps that neutral buoyancy maybe just a little weighted down so that it goes down deeper than the actual plug would so, go. So what do you think, you're getting like another foot or so, or what? I would say a foot, uh, maybe a foot and a half. Depending, the longer you let the bait sit stagnant, it will sink a little deeper. A little bit. A little yeah. bit. You know, I was thinking about that because when I was dressing those hooks, you know, it seemed like um, they were not only bigger, but, you know, they're, those Gamma Hatsu are, uh, are sharper, you know. Uh, heavier that, duty. Yeah. A heavier duty hook. Yeah, it's a heavier hook. I was wondering what it was doing to the baits and, you know, for for that suspended where it's gonna stop, you're probably actually falling a little bit. Yeah, the bait sinks instead of sits at a neutral, it will drop But not down. fast, it's a nice... No, it's a slow sink. Okay, okay. And you get a little more depth, say in 10 feet of water, a bait that goes eight feet will come down to nine feet. Maybe put that bait in the strike zone a right. little better. Right. Another thing we were thinking about is uh, uh, doing tip-up hooks uh, that are dressed and um, the the hair on the hook, not a lot of it, but just a little bit for an attractor. Aren't they doing that with drop shots? Yep. Now they dress some drop, drop shot hooks um, and a whole bunch of people are dressing, you know, jigs in different ways and spinner baits and, and uh, trailer hooks. So I think that you're going to see a lot of dressed hooks coming out on the market. Um, probably not the quality of hook that we're using, but... What do you think about that glue? I know it's kind of a pain in the butt to, to go through your, your spinnerbait collection and all the rubbers, you know, degraded. You got to go back and re-rubber everything. What do you think about gluing that hair? Yeah, I think that's going to be a key for bucktail spinnerbaits and, uh, you know... You can go with all the different colors that you want with the maraboos and the um, the hair. And a flashaboo and stuff? Yep. yep. I think it's going to It's gonna be key. It's going to make a spinnerbait last a lot longer. They'll have to break the wire. Well, the durability, you know, rubber, not only does it degrade, it seems like when pipe get a hold of it, they rip it up pretty good. Oh, they rip your baits all the pieces. <laughs> right. Right. And there, there goes another skirt. Yeah. Yeah. So any durability that you can get out of them is better. It saves you money in the long run. Oh, absolutely. And yeah. uh, you're you're gonna get fish attractant with all that hair. It's gonna be. I think it's gonna be big. It's gonna be well, a big thing. That's what we're doing. And uh, I got that reverse rig jig. You got some now. You're gonna go test those a little bit. Are you thinking uh, trimming them up a little bit? They're a little bit long. Yeah, I think you're gonna trim them to fit the the profile that you want. If you're fishing for walleyes, you can leave them a little longer. You know, the bigger fish, you can probably leave them longer because they're after a bigger bait. Yeah. And then for crappies and sunnies, you can trim that jig back to your specification and make it so that it's working for you on the ice or on the open water. I shot a little video um, of that reverse dressed uh, standard jig, not 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 uh, the little ones, but the the eighth ounce, and uh, showed you know when you lift it that it darts away from you. It's actually like a whale tail. It it wants to swim away, and uh, a little different in the hole because when you when you start lifting it, it's pulling away. It actually takes off. It's not just vertical, that kind of deal. So it's a little bit different action. I think you're going to enjoy that. Yeah, I think. Um... You know, they've been coming up with these these lures that swim away and dart around away from the hole a little bit. Yeah. And then they fall back to the center, you know, and then they go back out. And Fish are looking for an erratic action, and that's kind of what the presentation is. 
you know, that jig is going to dart away and then it's going to come up and then it's going to dart away right, another right. way. It's just, it's going to make the jig have so much more action than just a straight dropping jig yep. to the bottom, you yep. know. Well, there's lot, lots of water out there. We're going to have to test some of this stuff. <laughs> nice to see you out here and good spending the day with you. Yep. Thanks. Good to see you too.